Memelaka Ni aku Ibadah Ni aku Tukufu <laughs> What are you making me do on this show? <laughs> wow. My work is to talk not to see oh. Makaribu well. My goodness Do you know Yeah si chocha yeah. na job za sabaga na kuaga na PR but today <laughs> mingi sana to be very honest mm-hmm. i figure or i look at you like a cock franklin kind of person <laughs> and you know why first of all you can do you can sing you can write songs you know <laughs> so when i was listening to that particular song because i've been listening to it this particular week i just wanted to ask the inspiration upon this particular song before we even get to introduce you The word says juu ya kubwana hakuna mwingine. Mm-hmm. The Bible says above his name mm-hmm. there is no other, other. name. Yeah. He's the sovereign king and eternally he remains. And that's why we, de- we are declaring yeah. juu ya kubwana yes. hakuna mwingine. Yeah. He's God above every other god. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Before people mistaken you for Kirk Franklin because yeah. I know people are like oh he's in Kenya. Chota. He's in <laughs> Kenya. <laughs> he's in Kenya. No for real. Ana purify dafa. You have a beautiful soul. Thank But before you. I get to introduce you, please introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is uh, Mike Manoa. Yes. I am a worship leader. I serve at uh, it's very important for me to say yes. this. I serve at City Lighters Church. City Lighters Church is in Nairobi Cinema yes. under Reverend George Ma- Masharia. Yes. That's where I lead worship. I am a married man. All right. Yeah, I have a small my wife is called Sophia Manoa mm-hmm. and I have a small baby who is three years old. He's called Zani Manoa. And so I'm a family man. You. He's taking after me. Yeah. He's playing the drums like, eh? Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, he's very musical. All right. Yeah. Mike Did you were you born knowing that you wanted to see or is it something that came along the way There's a story to it you know I when I tell people this story they probably would think I'm lying or mm. I, I'm mm. just coming up with things but my father is a, is a bishop my father is called Boaz my mother she's a pastor also she's called Ruth My goodness Boaz and Ruth in the Bible got married in real life Boaz and Ruth got married parents. my parents now wow. those are their real names yes. so when i was i was still in my mother's womb i hear my dad said and my mom said she placed her hand in her womb and she said this boy is going to be a worshipper i was just they were just about to call me obed because <laughs> ruth and boaz <laughs> got a bit, obed they got obed yeah. but of course now I think that is what now made me become who I am right now All a right. worshipper of the Lord Amazing. and I'm happy oh, yeah. wow it gives me a lot of joy Maria Joseph where are you where are you where are you, where are you? Yeah. because we need a Jesus we need a Jesus yeah. <laughs> wow so after find your parents of course um Uh, yeah. prophesied about it yeah. or even declared that yeah. you will be a singer yeah. how did you uh, perceive it when you were born and you were yeah. in that family yeah, you know from my young age of course when um, I, i i was born in a in a in a in a, in a christian family uh, priesthood family but of course over the years i loved music mm-hmm. I, i would listen to a lot of music gospel music of course in our house but of course over the years i i was not born again so I was just listening I was just listening to music and doing worship because my parents were were were, were priests but over the years now from um when I was uh, I think around 10 years old that's when I I got born again from a very young age mm. and I was filled by the power of the Holy Spirit from a very very young age and I started now writing and worshiping the Lord as a matter of fact I started leading worship when I was 13 mm. yeah in my dad's church amazing Yeah. All right. So having known that you have the talent, the ability, the skills to do it, yeah. why didn't you just first decide to become I'm a gospel artist or I'm going to produce or sing and all that and and do music, but I'm going to start in the church. You have grown up in the church. You've maintained being in the church <laughs> by the <laughs> way. Yes. You're you're a, you're a, a leader in in that space. Yeah. Why that? Why didn't you go this direction of I need to produce? I need to put a video I need to do that I need to start and we decided I need to start from the church. I I think I just felt like my time wasn't ready. Mm. I needed to be grounded. I needed to um wait for the right time for me to be able to do that. And that's why I took a long time before recording. Actually I only have uh three songs out right now. And if you look at that video, the mm. Juyako video, and you look at me now, there's a big big difference. big difference in yeah. terms of uh, uh, the the size. Yeah. I was a bit smaller then. But I think my time wasn't ready, but I feel like now this is the time that God wants me to 
I'll be able to now step out yeah. and be able to do this which he has called me to do. All right. Yeah. Uh, today we are talking about our, our theme and our topic for today is stability through trust. Yes. And we're getting it from the book of Psalms 125 verses 1 to 2. Yes. Um, I explained to people earlier how beautiful the Lord um, makes, our, he surrounds us and he makes us to just be anchored in him. But he also asks us to trust in him. Yeah. All right. Because of course you cannot uh, depend on someone you don't trust. Yeah. All right. Uh, have you ever been in a space where you, you felt that, I might not be stable. I don't think I trust the Lord. I don't think this is it for me. I don't think music, I was called for music, but, but you kept on pushing. Have you ever been in that space? First of all, I, I am actually amazed. I'm, yeah. I'm just about even to, yeah. to fall down okay. right now. Okay. Because Psalms 125 verses 1 and 2 mm -hmm. is my theme verse for my live recording. Ah. <laughs> Wait a minute. The Bible You're says, in, yeah, the Bible says in verse one that those that trust in the Lord they are likened Mount to Mount Zion, Zion, and they cannot be, be moved. Shaken. They find stability in the Lord. Mm. And verse two now, which is my main theme verse, it says that those that trust in Him are surrounded. Are surrounded. Yeah, like the Lord surrounds the mountains. That's how He surrounds them now mm. and forever. Forevermore. And so for me. Just listening to you, yeah. uh, saying that this is what you're talking about today. today. I feel like ah, this is it. This is it. Yeah, yeah. But we find stability in the Lord. Mm. Actually, the Lord, in order for the Lord to surround you yeah. with protection, mm. you know, when we, we talk about when you talk about being surrounded, probably you think it's just one thing. Mm -hmm. He will surround you with protection alone. Mm. But there's a lot when God says when you trust in Him, He's able to surround you with His love. Mm. He's able to surround you with his peace. He's able to surround you with his wisdom. He's able to surround you with his glory. There is joy that overflows in, in that. And sometimes trusting in the Lord is not, is not easy. It is not easy to trust in the Lord. He says he wants, he will heal your diseases. There's a promise in his word that he's going to heal your diseases. But you're not seeing the, 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 that disease yeah. being healed. Yeah. So sometimes you might doubt. You might doubt that he is God. But I want you to tell you, I want to tell you, just as verse 1 says, that those that trust in the Lord, yeah. they are likened to Mount Zion. Mm. They find stability in him. Mm. So if you're able to put your trust in him, he's able to turn things around for you. Yeah. If it is that sickness that you're going through, he's able to heal. Mm -hmm. If it is that depression that you're going through, he's able to set you free from that cocoon. Yeah. Please, today, I would urge you, all our listeners, trust in the Lord. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and, and lean Lord. not in, our, in your own understanding. Because most of the time what we do, we tend to lean on our own understanding, mm. our abilities, our strength. But if you can be able to give it all to him, then he's able to surround you with what we call protection, ah. healing, love, and everything that comes with that. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Take me through a scenario where you felt God is not with you. Yeah, Have maybe. you ever been in such a space? Yes. Mm -hmm. Musically, maybe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Not even musically. Last year, yeah. um, when we were traveling to um, Remafest okay. with a group of people, mm. and um, we were involved in a, a fatal accident. Sorry. And um, uh, there was a matatu that was coming, and, 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 and our car, a Fortuna car, and we were involved in, a, in, a, in an accident. Mm. At that point, I felt like, God, you're supposed to be here. Yeah. We are your servants going to do ministry in a different land. How come you have allowed this to happen? Mm. But by the end of the, the day, I was encouraged because none of us was hurt, even in the other matatu. In the, in the matatu. Yeah. That means, we, because it was a head-on, mm. but God was at the center of, 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 of that. He was able to protect us. Mm. And so, so I, w I was just about to doubt and God proved himself within a few seconds yeah. because it happened within microseconds. Mm. So by the end of the day, I, I was like, please, God, I repent. Yeah. I know you are always with me. Yeah. There are times I doubt. Yeah. There are times I, am, I, I get sick and I feel like probably I will not get well. But he's able to heal me. Yeah. There are times I don't have money to be able to sustain probably my family. Mm. And he's able to provide. Yeah. So he is God. Yeah. Even in times of doubt. Mm. He still remains to be God. Even when you're going through something that you think you will not come out of, he still remains to be God. He will still prove himself in your life. All you need to do is to trust in, 
trust on him and not lean on your own understanding. All right. Yeah. I, I know you're talking about the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to yeah. 6. Yeah. But this particular April, there's something that is happening. Yes. There's something big that is happening. Yeah. But even as we get to that, today you're having open rehearsals. Yeah. I want you to tell me what that is all about. So um, God gave me the word surrounded. Immediately after, last, that was last year, he gave me the word surrounded and he told me, I, I want you to write songs with this theme. This surrounded theme. And I didn't understand what surrounded meant, but now I know what it means. And so he gave me many songs, around 14 songs. And I thought, ah, because it's a live recording, I'm just going to record the songs and let people come and worship, um, uh, get to know the songs on that particular day. But God told me, no, I want you to do it differently. I want the people to learn this. I want them to learn these songs way before the live recording so that I can be able to minister in their lives, mm. to their lives. Uh, and so that's why we said we are going to do rehearsals. Rehearsals meaning you come for um, a worship experience, uh, our rehearsals. The way we do it in, in, in the studio, you come and experience us uh, lifting up the name of Jesus, learning the songs together, and we get that encounter that uh, God wants us to get before the live recording. All and right. that's why we have right, uh, the live, uh, the open rehearsals today at 3 sorry, p.m. Sorry, sorry for cutting you short. But, but even as we get to uh, surround, why are you doing a live recording? Mm -hmm. um, particularly, you know me, I know the rent of Nairobi Cinema. Mm -hmm. How has it been through uh, planning this and of course getting to do the live recording? Why the live recording? And why those particular footing songs? <laughs> mm. I believe those songs have been I was talking to my brother Andrew mm. in the morning and uh, he's going to be coming here in mm. a few minutes the mountain guy, we call the, him the mountain, the mountain guy, guy. <laughs> he conquers mountains <laughs> these songs I believe God has breathed into them mm -hmm. uh, so that they can be able to equip the body of Christ and so all these songs are scriptural I have written these songs by the um, uh, initial of the power of the Holy Spirit and um the reason why I want to do a live recording is I don't want these songs to be uh, just for Kenya. I want them to impact lives around the world. And I'm saying this now. Amazing. The next Amazing. time probably we come. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I know God is, gonna do, yeah. <laughs> God is going to do something. Yeah. But that's beside the point. The point is I want them, these songs to impact the lives of his people. And that's why I'm doing a live recording so that we can be able to spread the message across the globe. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Well, last question, as we even get to tell people where you can find you on social media and your handles, what are we looking for or in the next few years? What are we expecting from Mike Manoa? Oh, a lot of music, a lot of music, a lot of ministry. Uh, uh, this is what God has called me to do from a young age. So in the next five years, I would want to produce a lot of music and impact a lot of uh, musicians through my music and through my gift. They come, we work together, and then we are able to raise them up and they can be able to do their own thing. That's what I've been doing with the Surrounded group. I auditioned some people, they're helping me now. Um, and then after this project, we are able to give them wings to be able to do their own thing. So that's what I want to do. I want to impact the lives of many um, um, ministry musicians. And that's, I think that's what God has called me to do. Amazing. Yes. And of, of, of course, produce a lot of music, mm -hmm. a lot of it. Mm -hmm. A lot of it. Yeah. Amazing. So that's your camera. I want you to look at that camera. There's someone who is looking at you, who has been with you in the journey. Yeah. How long have you been singing? From 13 years? I'm turning 36 in May 1st. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so you might probably... <laughs> Cal calculate your age. <laughs> so like, yes. Around 20 years mm. uh, doing um, music. All right. Of course, serving under. I've served a lot under many people. Yes. Those people are the ones who have helped me to be who I am today. The likes of Akina Nico, the likes of Akina, Pastor Apostle Mika Sila, Solomon Sila. We've worked with... I've worked under a lot of people just being groomed. Because as a musician, there's no way you can just say, I am self-made. You have to be under someone, even under a spiritual authority. Yes. I listen to my pastor a lot. I, uh, I am who I am because I, I am accountable to people. Amazing. So that's what probably I would urge uh, most of our, uh, of, our, of our musicians. Please be accountable to someone. Work under someone so that by the time God is raising you up, you are accountable. Yes, and you are able to lead, you to go the right way. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Your social media handles? 
Oh, you can find me on Mike Manoa across all my social platforms. Yes, Mike Manoa, just that. All right. <laughs> yes. uh, where is your event happening um, and the entry fee? Um, well, the, the, the event is going to be happening at Nairobi Cinema on the 20th of April from 3 to 7 p.m. in the evening. The open rehearsals are also happening today. Same venue, Nairobi Cinema, from 3 to 6 p.m. Please invite a friend. Come, let us lift up the name of Yahweh and let us uh, experience and have an encounter like never before. Yes. All right, Mike Manoa, yeah. I, I thank the Lord for you. Yeah. As I've said, I have seen you sing music. I've seen you. I, I know your family, by the way, your <laughs> sister. And yeah. thank you, Lena, for just being amazing. And your wife, Sophie, yeah. uh, pass my regards. They are the ones who made you come here. <laughs> yeah. That's but thank you for, now yes. My wife and my sisters, thank you so much for this. All right. And thank you for coming. Thank you for being a blessing. Thank Mimi you. Sichocha. Yeah. Kak Franklin, <laughs> resemblance, the singing. The, how you, how you get to sing their songs and how you get to project them, yeah. I like them. Thank you so uh, even much. if the videos at Nairobi Cinema, they're yeah. good enough for Thank us. You so and they much. impact me. Thank me you. as an individual. I won't talk on behalf of anyone. Wow. I talk on my behalf. Thank and so I bless much. the Lord for you and I pray that the Lord will continue even establishing you yeah. and anointing you afresh. Amen. And even the event for the 20th, we shall come. Amen. Hobbs and I are having a date on that day and we're going to be at <laughs> Nairobi Cinema. Thank you so, All right, so Hobbs, much. Yeah. what song do you want Mike to sing? Let me ask you, Mike, yeah. do you think yeah. there's a shift in the atmosphere concerning gospel music? Because last weekend we had a gig at yeah. Sweet Kitchen with DJ Moe's, yeah. and the narrative was, guys, there's a change, let's be active in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's a shift. Mm -hmm. There's a shift that has already taken place. Mm -hmm. The Bible says when we lift him up, he's able to draw men. Amen. And that's why he's drawing a lot of men and women yeah. to his kingdom. Okay. And that, that's what I'm saying. The shift has already taken place. It has happened. Guys already. have started lifting up the name of Yahweh. Awesome. And that's why we are seeing the change we are seeing in our generation now. And even in our country. Yeah. We will see. These live recordings are going to happen. Mm -hmm. Music is going to be produced. And not just music, any kind of music, mm -hmm. but music that lifts up the name of Jesus, the name of Yahweh. Mm -hmm. Music that has been inspired from the word of God. Mm -hmm. Not just music you slip down and you feel that this is a feel-good song, but music that the Holy Spirit speaks to you. You join the angelic choir. Angelic choir. You know when you join the angelic choir, you're able to get and download stuff from, from mm -hmm. heaven. Yes. <laughs> that is profound. Thank you, you need to teach even musicians what to do and artists, not just singing and yeah. producing, yeah. but I think you have that gifting of Thank just you. speaking into people's life. Thank All right? So we do Gina Layesu? Yeah, Gina Layesu. Take it away, Mike. All right. Yes. Lina.